Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a high converting landing page for Instagram. Now, if you wanted to make money with social media or you wanted to try using Instagram to make money online, a landing page is gonna be super crucial for your success. Now, my name is Jake, I'm from ClickBank, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this using ClickBank Accelerator. ClickBank Accelerator is ClickBank's very own landing page builder, and if you're interested in learning more about it, there's a link down below in the description. Now, affiliate marketing is a great way to monetize your audience, no matter if you have a small following or you have a ton of followers on any of the social media platforms, but specifically for Instagram, we're gonna be focusing on that today, and we're gonna dive in to exactly how to create a landing page that can turn those followers into affiliate commissions. So I wanna start by showing you a real world example of someone who has a theme page on Instagram with 444,000 followers. And if you think that's a lot, that's because it is, but also don't be scared because um, regardless of if you have 200 followers or 500,000 followers, what I'm gonna show you in this video can work for you either way. So. Jumping straight in here, you can see this page, 444,000 followers, that's incredible. There's really two ways of promoting and two ways of linking to offers that you're gonna promote on Instagram. The first one is putting a direct link in bio. So you can see on in their page, if you click on their link, it's gonna pull up the exact offer that they're promoting, which is the smoothie diet. So that's one way of doing it, right? You can take your hop link, you can take your affiliate tracking link and you can put it directly in the link of your bio. But today, instead of linking directly in your bio, I'm gonna show you how to create what we call a bridge page. Now, a bridge page, if you're not familiar, is simply just a page that you create as an affiliate that stands between your audience, your traffic source, in this case, it's Instagram, right? And the offer you're promoting. So. Like I said, that, that offer that we just saw on Instagram was promoting the smoothie diet. We're gonna use that as our example in this video. Your bridge page goes right in the middle of those two things. So it's your audience, your traffic source, your bridge page, and then you have your offer. And really what the bridge page is meant to do is it's meant to do two things. First thing is it's meant to warm up your audience. So if your audience is on Instagram, and let's say you have a weight loss uh, type page like the one we just saw, your bridge page is a really, really great uh, opportunity for you to warm up the traffic that you're sending to that bridge page before they get to the offer. And the reason why you wanna do this is because if you warm them up properly in that bridge page, the likelihood of them converting on the sales page, the smoothie diet sales page, is exponentially higher than if you were to just send them straight from Instagram to the smoothie diet sales page. The other reason why you would want a bridge page, and this is for folks, not necessarily who's gonna be driving organic traffic or free traffic from social media like Instagram, but for folks who wanna do paid traffic, most paid platforms, including Instagram or Facebook, if you're buying ads, not if you're posting online like for free content, if you're buying ads on their platform, most of them require you to use a bridge page in between um, the ad and the sales page. And so if you plan on running uh, paid traffic, we highly, highly recommend that you build a bridge page as well. We have other videos on our YouTube channel that show um, how to build those specifically for YouTube ads and for Facebook ads. So I highly recommend you go and check those out if you're interested in paid traffic. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually going to follow the same um, offer and the same kind of style that we just saw in the example on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a page for the smoothie diet as if I was that affiliate. And so really what I need to do is I need to figure out what I can best show someone to get them to convert before they see the sales page like I mentioned earlier. And the way to do this, the way to get gain insights on what to say on that page to best set them up to see the sales page is to do two things. The first thing is to go to the sales page that you're actually promoting. And what you're gonna find, the best thing to do is to just go through and read the sales copy. It sounds very like elementary, it sounds very basic, but that's one of the best things that you can do to learn about the offer, right? Go ahead, go through the page, read the sales copy. If there's a video on this page specifically at the top, I would go through and I would watch through the entire thing. And that's gonna give you some really good ideas in terms of what hooks you, you should use, what angles you should use. Pay attention to the words that they're using on the page to sell the product. Uh, because at the end of the day, they know their product the best and they know how to speak to their end customer in a way that is gonna sell their product to them, right? So that's the first way of figuring out what to put on that, that, uh, that bridge page you're gonna be creating. The second way is to go to the affiliates tools page. 
Now, most offers or a lot of the offers on ClickBank will have what's called an affiliates tools page. And so if you're scrolling through the marketplace and on a particular offer, you see affiliates tools or affiliates tools page, if you click on that, it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. And this page is exactly what it sounds like. It's a page that the vendor creates um, to essentially give affiliates tools to help them sell the offer. And so you'll see it talks about their commissions here. Um, you'll see that um, in a lot of cases, they will talk about the product itself. They'll talk about how to sell it, who it's for, where the end customer is from, what demographic to sell to. This is all super, super valuable information that you can use to craft your bridge page. So with all that information and all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into actually creating the bridge page. All right, so I am inside Accelerator now. Um, and the first thing that we're gonna do is under the My Funnels tab, we're gonna come over here and create a new funnel. Now, the cool thing about Accelerator is once you're inside, there's a whole bunch of different high converting landing page templates already structured for you. So you can kind of just jump in, grab one and plug and play with, with copy and imagery to kind of get what you're, what you're after. So for this one and for this traffic source, I'm gonna use a video pre-sell page. All right, so I have my basic funnel structure here. You can see I have a page and then a button connected to it. If I come over here to edit page, you can see that I have um, a couple of things here. I have an image here. You can see there's a play button on it, but really this is just an image right now. I have a, uh, a title here and I have some bullet points as well as a CTA button. So one thing that you're gonna to wanna to remember is when you're creating your bridge pages, you need to think about the traffic source that the page is for. So again, in this video, obviously, we're gonna be talking about Instagram and creating a page for Instagram. But the important things to remember is like, where's the traffic coming from and how are they consuming the content prior to the bridge page? So for example, if you know that somebody is coming from Instagram, there's a high, high likelihood that they're gonna be on their phone, right? I would imagine that over 90% of the people that are on Instagram are probably on their cell phone. So when you're making your page, you should create it in a format that looks good for mobile first, and then you can worry about desktop or tablet later, okay? So we're gonna keep that in mind as we are building this page. So if I switch over to the mobile view here, you can see um, how this kind of changes things, right? So now I have um, the image up top, I have my title, and then I have my bullet points and my CTA. So I'm just gonna restructure this page in a way that puts this, uh, this title up above the video or up above the image, I should say. And then I have some predetermined copy already written out. So I'm just gonna plug that in really quick and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what we did here. So I think this is looking pretty good here. And so, um, you can see things have changed a little bit since we first started. And so I wanna walk through uh, what's on the page here and more importantly, why it's on the page. So um, at the very top here, you'll see a, uh, a kind of a big, uh, a big bold headline, right? It says revealed 21 day smoothie diet shreds weight and increases energy. And I just said 4X, right? Sh increases energy 4X. So the reason I put that is because I want you guys to think um, I want you guys to think through when you are thinking about who you're selling to and you're thinking about who these products are for, you need to think about what's important to them and what they're trying to get out of uh, buying the product. So of course they wanna increase their energy, but what are they trying to increase their energy for, right? Saying, if you were to say, for example, um, hey, you should buy this because it increases your energy, that may work with one segment of the market, but if you were to say, hey, um, you should buy this because it increases your energy to then be able to go and uh, go and play with your kids outside more. That's a different way and a different angle, a different approach that may hit more people and that may, um, may work a little bit better than just saying like increase your energy, right? Because that's super broad, right? Make it be a little bit specific, but tie it back to something that's important to who you are selling to. So. That is uh, the headline, right? In the headline, we wanna drive curiosity, right? So 21 day smoothie shreds weight and increases energy for X. We're driving curiosity, but we're also saying that the desired outcome that the prospect is looking for is revealed here in this product. So that's the headline. Underneath that, we just have a very basic image of a woman holding a smoothie. Um, that's more, I think, for an aesthetic purpose. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can, or you can play with putting images here to uh, try and entice someone to click. 
And then underneath that, I just put a little bit of copy. This is actually directly from the sales page that talks about how this smoothie diet is revolutionary, it's life-changing, and how it's helping people lose weight and feel better um, than ever before. And so um, again, driving curiosity, you're really trying to, if you know that the end customer wants to, has this desired outcome of losing weight or um, increasing their energy, then you wanna tie that into your bridge page here so you're setting them up to be sold to on the next page. Then underneath that, I have a very simple CTA. It just says, see how, right? That ties right back into our headline. So it's 21 day smoothie diet shreds weight and increases energy for X. CTA is see how, or find out more, or learn more, or find out how. Any of those would work here, right? And then underneath that, this is something that I like to add is um, kind of a PS line. And it says important in all bold uh, caps. If you've ever wanted to get rid of pain point one or pain point two or pain point three, this is for you. Now, again, I leave it broad because I want you to apply this to whatever you're promoting, right? If you're promoting a dog offer, right? Uh, like a dog training offer, or if you're promoting a weight loss offer, if you're promoting a brain supplement offer, or you're promoting, um, you know, a, a, an offer promoting RC cars, like it's gonna, like what you're gonna put here is gonna vary depending on that. So for this one, um, the pain points here would just be related to increasing energy and uh, losing weight. And so that's what you would put in here for this specific offer. All right, guys, so I wanna address something really quickly before we go any further. Um, if you're anything like me, when I first saw a page that looked something like this, I was very skeptical. I was like, there's no way something that's this ugly actually converts. Um, and what's crazy is, is um, when you're building these bridge pages, it actually, it doesn't matter necessarily how something is designed or how it looks as much. It's more about the content that's on the page. And so I've talked about it a lot in this video, but really what you'll notice is throughout the entire page, we're just trying to drive the desired outcome that the prospect wants and tie it to the product. As long as you're doing that, your pages can be kind of ugly. In fact, in a lot of cases, the more simple the page is, um, the more, the higher they convert. And so, if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm unsure, like this isn't the super, like this isn't the most pretty page I've ever seen, don't let any of that intimidate you because sometimes simple sells better than anything else. Okay, the last thing here that you'll wanna do is you will want to put your hop links to the sellers, uh, to the sales page, I should say, in this button. So if you click on this and you hit the settings and go to button settings, um, this is where you would add your hop link. So you would just add that there and then the other place you can put it, actually there's two other places you can put it, is right here on the image. You could just add a link to the image. So if somebody clicks on the image, it'll take them to the sales page. Or you can also hyperlink some text. So I like to do it right here on this is for you. I would come in here and I would insert a link. We'll just say hop link here, hit insert. And now you'll see it's highlighted and it's clickable. Okay, so now that your page is complete and you're ready to drive traffic to it, um, there's a couple things that you need to do in order to actually get it on Instagram and actually getting people to it, right? So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, um, if you haven't bought a domain already, um, I highly recommend you buy a domain. They're pretty cheap. You can buy one from, well, there's a hundred, there's a tons of different places on the internet. You can buy them, you can buy them from Google, you can buy them from Namecheap. There's tons of different places you can get them from. I would grab your domain and you're gonna to wanna to connect it to your landing page builder. So obviously with Accelerator, um, that's the one that I'm talking about today. You can buy domains directly in Accelerator or you can connect an external domain to Accelerator. And then once you do that, you'll then just wanna grab your page URL for this specific page that you built. And that is what you will take and put in your Instagram bio or put wherever you're promoting. So whether that be in a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad, or you, let's say you're promoting on TikTok, you're gonna take the page URL, once you have that of the page you just created, and you're gonna put that where you want people to see it and start clicking. So guys, take that page URL, throw it in your link in bio on uh, Instagram, and then you can go ahead and start creating content on Instagram and drive people to that link in your bio. They'll go through your page, through your sales page, and hopefully they start converting for you. So again, in this video, we use ClickBank Accelerator. Now Accelerator is the landing page builder built specifically for affiliate marketers. 
So if you're interested in learning more about that, there's a link down in the description. So please go check that out. If there's any types of videos that you guys wanna see in the future, or you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one.